Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Kia and here is the Kimo Lab. In this series of video, I'm going to define some project and then we are going through uh, whole phases of the design together and we will see how we can start a project and how we can actually end the project with the proper result. When you are working on a design project as a designer, there are many phases that you need to go through them in order to create a really good final result for that project. Today in this video I'm going to define a case study and then we are going to work together and we will go through all the phases together and then we will see how we can get the best result out of this project. So without further ado, let's jump to it. So in today's video, I'm going to work on a project which is creating a poster or a marketing material for an electronic vehicle which is produced by Toyota car manufacturer. We are going to create a poster which is promoting this product. The very first step that I'm going to start with is the discovery phase, uh, collecting all the information that we need actually in order to come with a solution or actually end the project with the uh, proper result and design. The information is like the uh, problem that we are going to solve, the goal of the business, uh, the market that we are going to target, the detailed information about the product itself. There are many different approaches in order to collect the information. It can be some interviews, meetings, workshops, uh, but in today's case, due to this fact that I'm not going to have any contact with the company and this fact that I'm just going to do this uh, for the educational purpose so I'm going to start by just doing a research in the website of the Toyota and see what kind of information I can find it. After observing the website of the Toyota uh, I realized that there is two main factors that I can really play with it in my design. The very first point is that there is a relation between the name of this product and the goal of the manufacturer behind it. The BZ which is the name of this product is a short form form of the Beyond Zero, which is the slogan of the company for this product, which means they are going to create a car or a vehicle which has zero carbon dioxide emission. So as I said before, this project is going to be uh, really simple and small. I'm not going to do all the phases in a really deep manner, but usually in reality, uh, this step would take a lot of time, it needs a lot of researches, but here I'm going to skip it and just go to the next step. The next step is defining phase. In defining phase, we are going to define the project that we are going to work on it based on the information that actually we collected. In this case, the project that I'm going to define is going to be a poster which is promoting this car by focusing on this message. This product has zero carbon dioxide emission. Usually the result of the defining phase would be the project clarification document or problem statement in another word, some other, let's say, working area. This is very important documentation because actually we are going to work on the project based on this document. So at the end, our result should be aligned with the problem statement and actually need to follow the goal that we define here in this document. So the next step is ideation process. In ideation process, uh, we have many different approaches, usually when we are working with a team, in order to collect different ideas from different designers or uh, different responsible persons. The most important thing in this phase is that we keep the discussion open for everyone, that everyone can actually bring uh, their own ideas. Personally, for this process, before I attend to any workshop for ideation, I'm using uh, some uh, online uh, website in order to collect some ideas and see more about what's happening in this industry and what's happening in this specific a field that I'm going to design something for it. For example, in this case, I try to collect some ideas in the Pinterest. The other tools that I'm using most often is the behance.net. I'm trying to actually uh, search again the same keyword there and extract uh, the images that I can get inspired by them when I'm going to develop something. With all the footages and assets actually that I collected in this, I usually create a mood board which is going to be somehow like a vision board of uh, the project and the ideas. So in this case, I come up with the idea which is not really new one or so creative, uh, but I thought uh, it could be a most proper one here in this case based on the based on the information that I collected. So the idea is that I want to show how this car, this vehicle actually uh, affecting the nature. In another word, I want to emphasize on this fact that this 
car or this vehicle has zero carbon dioxide emission. After sketches, I try to collect some footages and assets that I will uh, use them in order to create the final composition. Based on the idea I have, I want to show this vehicle driving through a road and the viewer is actually looking at it from the side view and we can see actually whenever this, whatever this uh, car is going through, the nature has the time to recover itself and we can see more green areas than the places that this car has not been there yet. In order to achieve this concept, I will use the desert as a symbol of uh, having, let's say, bad uh, weather condition. Uh, and also I will use another picture which is about the green nature which shows the life and how actually the nature could recover itself. So after choosing the idea and collecting some footages, uh, the time is for uh, creating the final design using different techniques uh, in order to create uh, a composition uh, that uh, transfers the message that I want to. So as you can see in the result, I have a very first basic element of my scene, which is an image. Now the next step is to create the layout that uh, has more uh, elements in it. Uh, basically, I want to put more text uh, in order to uh, transfer the message in a better and more clear way. One of the important things when it comes to working with the big companies or any company that has a CID or a corporate identity design is that you need to take care of their branding guidelines and how they define their brand. In this case, uh, in the Toyota website, you can find all the uh, principles and guidelines of their brand, uh, such as typography rules or uh, colors or any different, let's say, rules regarding their brand. So it was so easy for me to go through it and try to uh, study how can I create the layout which is going to follow their uh, rule and guidelines. In result, the layout that you see here now is consistent with the rest of the materials that they have because basically all of them are following the same guideline. Based on the Toyota uh, CID or corporate identity design or let's say brand guideline and also some uh, principle of the design, uh, I managed to put the text and the other elements in the scene and finalize this composition and this is the result that you can see right now. So as I said in the beginning of the video, this project is not a really large scale project and I try to keep it simple in the next videos, I'll show you more techniques and how you can actually achieve uh, to use these techniques in order to create more complex composition. This four phase that I mentioned in this video is really common between the designers when they are starting to do a project. Let me list it again here. The first phase was discovery phase. The second one was the defining phase. The third one was ideation process. And the fourth one, as you see here, is finalizing your uh, design, evaluating your design and try to improve it. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like it, leave the comment, subscribe to my channel. Let's learn together. I'll see you in the next video.